Where are you? First in Broadway, second in Broadway, third in Broadway. Uh, five minutes, ten tops. Are those sirens? No. What is happening? I'll be right there. Promise. Emma is just incredible and smart and talented. She's created a complex character. Did your traffic jam have anything to do with the Russian mob? Why didn't you just tell me? I really like what's happening with Gwen on this one. She's grown up a little bit. You're Spider-Man, and I love that. But I love Peter Parker more. She's kind of in the midst of graduating valedictorian and having that great success in her life and trying to find her way with this boy who has a lot going on in his own life, too. He kind of has no choice but to love her as he does. But I'm being haunted by the promise that I gave her father. Gwen Stacy and Peter Parker always had a very colorful relationship. I didn't get love like last night. I got more of a want to kill me vibe. That's kind of what it's like to love you. Gwen has dreams and goals of her own. She's not waiting around for Peter Parker to decide whether he can be with her or not be with her. Is Peter home? No, he's doing whatever it is he does. Right, yeah. She's gotten some information that she gets to accept to an Oxford Scholars program, so she's thinking about leaving. I have to go to England, Peter. It's important to me. It's very complicated for Gwen and for him. You cannot always have what you want. Peter doesn't want to be apart from her, so that's a deep inner conflict that he has to navigate, and it's painful. And it creates a very, I think, real dynamic between the two of them. And the question becomes whether or not they can share a path, or whether that path is going to take them in different directions. We were just going different ways. I don't want to go. It's Spider-Man. <laughs>